Welcome back to my channel Lomzi Sews. In today's sewing tutorial, I'll be sharing with you how to cut and sew a three-part corset with Queen Anne's neckline. This video is going to be an advanced video, but trust me, I have all the tutorials on how to make the pant trouser, how to cut and sew the back side of the corset. Today we are going to be looking at how to cut and sew the corset three part corset with queen ant neckline if that's what you're looking for make sure not to skip any part of this video so you don't miss anything and if this is your first time coming across my channel remember to subscribe let's start with the tutorial to draft a corset you need a basic block for bustiers and corsets for this particular pattern i have the tutorial on my channel is detailed and it's very very simple for anybody to understand i'll drop the link in the description section so this is the front and the back panel of the pattern i'll go ahead and set the back aside and we're going to start with the front first thing i'm going to do is to draw the neckline if you notice i've not drawn the neckline from the shoulder slope, I came down one inch. If you're using shoulder pad, don't slope it. And from the center front, I'm going to come in two and a half inches for the neck width. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to draw the shape of the yoke. Queen Anne next line comes in different ways. You can have it with a yoke or you can have it separately and you cut it from here. It depends on how you want to do it. Next, on the center front, remember this is the center front, I'm going to come down from the shoulder line like this, I'm going to come down 9 inches. And also for this midpoint where you have the boss, the boss pan, I'm going to come down 7.5 inches. You can come down 8 or you can go up 6.5, it depends on what you want. And then on this place where I came down from the shoulder line, I'm going to get a boss separation of... 0.75 and I'm going to mark it so I'm going to connect this line to this line and on my armhole I'm going to come down half inch and connect this to this place can you see what I'm doing just make a nice curve I'm using pencil by the time I'm sure of what I'm doing I'll now use my marker to make it very visible now that I have a tentative neckline, the next thing I'm going to do is to do the upper bust tightening. For me to do that, I'm going to divide the shoulder width divided by 2. So you divide the shoulder width by 2. And you're going to connect it to this place. On this side, I'm going to come in 1.25 and on this side, I'm going to go in by 1 inch. I'll connect this line like this. And also connect this one like this. I'll also connect these lines to the shoulder line. So now these are the final line for the darts. I'm going to take these ones away. Remember, we have still not drawn the neckline for the Queen Anne's neckline. Next is for me to draw the corset cup. So from here in front, I'm going to connect this to the front, the bust separation here. Also from this side, from the side seam, I'm going to come in three inches and mark for the side cups. I'm going to connect this like this. Next, I'm going to trim my dart so that I'll be able to draw the final line for the neckline. So for me to do that, I'm going to cut this open here like this. Cut this dart. If you notice, the shoulder line have curved. 
so i'm going to draw another line so this line now will be the new shoulder line so you make sure you draw that line to have a new shoulder line if you notice our neckline has shifted so it came to this place so from here i'm going to draw a new line for the yoke so this will be the new line for the yoke we're not using this anymore that's why i said it's a tentative line so i'm going to make this visible now so from here we're going to connect this to the side seam like this so i'll go ahead and cut out the yoke after closing the dots you can see and i've cut out this next thing is for us to draw the shape of the queen and neckline remember from the center front to the neckline is two and a half inches so i'm just going to come in from the that's um the close that's this that that are closed here and i'm going to connect it to this place which is a two and a half inches neck width i'll go ahead and connect that so i'll cut out this place for the queen and neckline At this stage, if you're cutting a two-part corset, then you know your corset is ready. But if you're continuing and cutting a three-part corset with me, then let's continue with the tutorial. So next thing we have to do is to make this a three-part corset. For me to do that, from here, I'm going to come down 1.5 inches. And from here, I'm going to come down also 1.5 inches. And from here, I'm going to go down like 2 inches. Now this neckline or the shape of this depends on how your pattern turns out. So I'm going to go ahead and connect these lines. Remember this is a style line so you can come down or go up. It depends on what you want. So now I'll mark this one, I'll mark this two, and I'll mark this three. Most times I used to write side and I write this center front. That's how I like to identify my patterns. Before I cut this out, I like to trim my patterns. So what I'm going to do now is to match up the yoke. So this is it after truing it. Now that I'm sure of how my pattern is, I've trued it, I'm sure of it. The next thing we're going to do is to cut this out and I'm going to add sewing allowances to it. Remember, I've not added any sewing allowance to them. I'll go ahead, cut them out and separate my patterns and cut the add sewing allowances to all of them and then we're going to go over to the back don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe this is your first time coming across my channel and to my returning subscribers thank you for always supporting let's continue with the back side of the corset the back pattern i'm not going to do anything serious on this back pattern the only thing i'm going to do is to draw the neckline so remember the neck width I use is two and a half inches and that's what I have here. Neck depth for the back, I'm just going to come down 0.75 and I'm going to connect this line to the shoulder width. And that is it for the back. For the main fabric, I'm going to cut this like this. I'm not going to be adding anything or removing anything. I'm just going to add half inch sewing allowance here, one inch here, half inch here, half inch here for the main fabric. And for the lining piece, I'll go ahead and make a yoke at the back here and also come in here like this and i'm going to add sewing allowances to all of them and cut the three pieces this is because i want to add lacing at the back i have a full tutorial on how to do this i will drop that in the link in the description section so i'll go ahead and cut this out on my fabric and we are going to sew it so off camera i have cut out all the pieces of my pattern pieces and i added all the sewing allowances to all of them and i have cut them out on my fabric as you can see i also did the same thing to the lining piece so to sew this the very first thing i like to start with is my cups i'm going to be starting with the lower cups so i'm going to go i place this like this and i will sew half inch after sewing it i'm going to iron it out this is it after ironing it the next is to place the upper side of the three-part corset on top of it and i'm going to sew it this is it after sewing everything next is for me to sew the cups to the main bodies so you go ahead place it like this and gently sew it all around to join your cups if you have been following my video you will know how i do this so this is it after sewing it and i've also added the uh, the foam for the bra cup 
Next, I'm going to sew the uh, the yoke. So the queen and leg line, I joined the two sides. I turned it with the main fabric. I'm going to baste this on the main bodies. After basting it, this is how it's looking. Next um, is for me to sew the lining, to use the lining to turn it. So for my lining piece, I went ahead and added boning to, boning to the lining as you can see. The next thing, I didn't make any boning channels. I just placed the boning straight on, on it as you can see. So I'm going to place this on the main fabric and I'm going to sew the neckline. After sewing it, this is how it's looking. And I also close the, I hem the lower part of it, as you can see. So at this stage, make sure you iron your, the cups properly with your tailor's ham. For the back, I have a full tutorial on how to cut corset back with loops and zip. As you can see, mine has a zip. I told you I'm not doing anything and I have loops for it. So you go ahead and close it with the loops first of all before you now close the zip i'll drop the tutorial in the description section next i'll go ahead to join the shoulder i didn't add any interfacing both at the lining and the main fabric for the back so this is it after joining it as you can see next is for me to join the sleeve this sleeve i've already made the tutorial i'll drop the link in the description section that's why i told you guys this video is an advanced video so you, i'll drop the link on how to cut the sleeve with the funnel the funnel sleeve i'll drop it in the description section and guys we have actually come to the end of today's sewing tutorial this is the final look as you can see the funnel sleeve and every other thing I'll go ahead and wear this to show you how it looks. If you have watched this video till this time, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Many times that I miss you I know how to call when I want to Now you got way bigger issues